welcome back to my channel. I'm Noreen Burke, owner of Call Clutter Fairy Home Organizing, and this is my YouTube channel, The Crafty Organizer, where I bring you ideas for organizing, decluttering. I love bringing you tips on the upcycling, recycling, crafts, and the occasional DIY project. Today's project covers DIYing, upcycling, and organizing. And that's making this desk organizer. I saw an idea for this a couple of weeks ago and knew I wanted to make a gift very similar for someone. So let me show you how I made this. So here was the original inspiration. It was only $30, but it was a little plastic container. And you could see it's not very big. And I thought that these 12.5 ounce cans would be about the same size, a little bit deeper. But all I spent money on was this $1 towel holder from the Dollar Tree. I needed a recycled straw and I made sure it was one that was a little bit wider and pretty sturdy. It wasn't very flimsy. You'll want a tall straw that goes up all of the way because it's going to wrap around one of these wires. And then of course, five of these cans. These are about three inches wide, but the premise here is I'm going to attach them to the straw so that each one swivels independently. The first thing I do is measure the cans. Now these are about two inches tall, so I wanted to make sure that I had a straw that would be tall enough to cover all five of the cans. Then I went ahead and I took off all of the labels and this was pretty quick and you're going to be covering them again so you don't have to worry about them being perfectly removed. Just get the paper off. Once all of the covers are off, then we have to check the inside to make sure there aren't any sharp edges that are going to catch. If there is anything sharp, just get out a small pair of pliers and squeeze them down to make sure everything is nice and smooth so that no one gets cut. Once that's done and all five cans, we're ready to start cutting up the straws. And again, mine were about two inches, so go ahead and cut all of those down. And I just used the previous straw to cut it down to about the same size. When I got to the end of mine, the very last piece was a little bit smaller. I don't know if you can see that, but when I hold it up to the can, you can see it doesn't quite reach to the top. So I'm going to set that aside and that'll be my top can for later. Now, here comes the part where we start assembling this, and this was such an easy project. Slice up the straw so that it now will open up and just slide it over that wire. This gives it the ability to freely spin around once we start attaching the cans. And now I'm going to get some of my favorite duct brand shipping tape. I use this for everything and it just so happens to be the same width as the cans, which makes it super easy. Now I'm showing you with it against the straw, but that's not the best way to actually apply this. But with the tape on the straw, it will now spin freely. So what I'll eventually do, and this is just me doing it, not the example for you, but I get the tape pressed tightly and smoothly against the can and then make sure it's super secure and tight so that it stays straight. You just pull that tape and get it flush against the other side of the can. And what this does, again, is it allows it to spin all the way around freely on both sides of that wire so that you can either access what's inside or have it closed. So here I'm going to show you again. I already have the straw on and I attach the tape directly to the can. I place it so that it's lined up to the can that was there before and just tightly pull the tape all the way around so that it's smooth on the can. And you can see pretty quickly how this is going to come together. So let me show you with this next one. I slice through the straw and I'm going to show you what this one looks like. So I'm going to open it up a little bit more so that you really see what I'm doing. But all I do is open up that straw and with the opening, I wrap it around the wire here. And now that it's been stretched out, I'm going to just squeeze it closed so that it stays in place. But the straws won't slide within themselves, so they'll stay independent and allow you to move the cans freely. So now I take a piece of the tape, and I only take about three, maybe four inches, and I line it up so that it's nice and smooth because later I'm going to be covering these cans, and I don't want the tape to be buckled underneath, causing it to not be smooth. 
These are straight up and down, so there isn't any tapering, so it's pretty easy. You just have to play with it a little bit. But once it's on there nice and smooth, I go ahead and feed the open end through the holder and get it nice and tight up against the can. And I make sure it's in alignment with the can beneath it. They should just barely nest inside. And once it's in place, I pull really tight around that straw. And as soon as I get around, I start pressing up against the other side of the can. All right, now that I've got three in place and you get the idea, let me get to can number four really quick. So again, I just get that straw slice down the middle of it so that I can get it on that wire. And I'm doing this in real time with you guys so you can see what an easy project this is. Slide it over the wire. And then I get my tape ready and I go ahead and attach that to the can. As long as you apply about half of it to the can, that's all you need to wrap around. Then I line it up on the holder in relation to where the other can was. And I'm trying very hard to show you what I'm doing as I'm doing this. So I line it up. I pull tightly so that it's actually gripping the straw in place over the wire. Do you see how quick this is? I am so excited about this one. I might make myself one, but this one is going to be a gift. Now for this last one, because the straw is shorter, I want to show you what I do differently for this particular one. So I cut it down the same as I've been doing. I'm going to slide it over the wire. And the only difference on this, because it is shorter, is I want to make sure it's placed towards the bottom of the can. So when I get the tape in position and I slide it around, that extra tape will catch on the wire. So what you have to do here is cut away the tape that does not have straw. So I'm taking that tape, I'm going to pull it away so that the tape against the can is only where the straw will be. Where there is no straw, there should be no tape. And that way the tape isn't catching on anything. So here's all five cans. Now, the person that I'm making this for, I'm going to have it as their desk organizer, so I may attach a little can on the side. And this would be a cute place to put extra pens or pencils or scissors. But if you were to make this, this could work in the bathroom for small hair things. And then that little extra area could be your toothbrush, your makeup brushes. This could go in the kitchen for little small things. This could go in your craft room and hold different supplies. I think this has a lot of possibilities. Now I'm going to dress it up a little bit. So I just pulled out one of the labels. It's just under two inches. The can is two inches, but I want it to be within the rim. So check with your own to make sure that you have the correct size, but mine was just under two inches. So I go ahead and cut those down. This is a 12 by 12 piece of paper, and it just so happens Luckily, that one strip of 12 by 12 that's cut with just under two magically fits all the way around the can without having any other cuts. That just happened to be great luck. So I cut out five of those strips. I'm going to use glue dots, mine are permanent, and I'm just going to put them on the four corners as you see with the happy faces. And this is just to hold it in place initially. So I attach the first two dots. I pull as tightly as I can and make sure that it's even all the way around and press those other two dots. And then you can see that it lines up perfectly with just the straw around that wire exposed. It's the perfect design. I'm quickly going to add the other four stripes here. I just do the two and then bring it tightly around. So the dots worked really well for this because it gripped just the initial and ending place. Here we are, can number four. This is going really quick. I'm so happy with this project. And then the last thing I did, which is optional for you, is I added one more small strip of shipping tape to the back of each one. And this made sure that the strips of paper were secure in the back and gave extra support with that straw.
So at this point, it could be done for you. You could cover this with any type of paper that you want, contact paper. You could even paint these cans ahead of time if you don't want that silver. I kind of liked it because it tied in with the paper towel holder to make it look like it was one cohesive design. But I wanted to go one step further just to dress this up a little bit. If you go to my website, I have these labels that are downloadable for free. And all you have to do is change where it says type here and you can change the title to be whatever you want. I can print this out on any type of paper, but because this was a gift, I wanted them to be blank so that when I gave it to them, they could do what they wanted. I attached these with clear shipping tape so that they become dry erase labels. Check this out. So now the person I'm giving this to can write whatever they want. And when they're done, they could just wipe it off. They can change their mind about what's inside of here. I'm really excited about this and I really do think I'm going to make myself another one because this was such a quick and easy project and I love the look of it. I'm going to make sure that I include this dry erase marker. I have found these at Daiso, but I've also found them at the dollar store and I'm just going to put that inside and wrap it up. I think this turned out so cute. The last thing that I did when I saw this and I thought you could do this with felt, but I did it with paper, was I did cut out little circles to put inside just so it didn't look like it was obviously a food can before. But again, I think the uses for this are unlimited. So here's what it looks like with the little paper inside. And I could have probably done a better circle job, but I just wanted to get it done really quick to show you. So I always love finding a design on a website and finding a way to duplicate it. And I really am happy with this one, you guys. I know it seems kind of silly. I wish I needed a desk organizer because I think this is just absolutely adorable. I love the way that you can access everything. I love that you can customize it to the colors that you want. And again, I think this would be great in a bathroom, in a little craft area, on your desk for the little paper clips, binder clips, batteries, erasers. And then if you do add the can on the end and cover it in the same way for your pens and pencils, I think this was just such a cute idea. And the only cost was the actual stand that I got from the Dollar Tree, which was a dollar. Everything else was upcycled items that would have gone in the recycling bin. And of course, I had the paper on hand already. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this. Is this something that you would make as a gift or is it something you would make for yourself? And if so, how would you use it? I think depending upon the size of cans that you could do so many different things with this. So I'll be anxious to see what you would do in the comments. If you're new, thank you so much for sitting through this video. And if you are coming back, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. We're getting closer to 60,000 subscribers, which makes me so excited. My goal very much is to hit that 100,000 mark. I don't know why this is such an exciting thing for me, but I really want to earn that silver play button from YouTube. So if you're so inclined to support me, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Share this video with someone else. Ask them if they would wouldn't mind subscribing. That way they also get the tips for my upcycle designs and organizing ideas. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my Patreons and I'll see you guys in just a couple days. Bye! <music>